In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NHL games happening on December 7, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Bruins vs. Colorado Avalanche The Boston Bruins face the Colorado Avalanche in a matchup between two of the league's best teams. The Bruins have a 20-3-1 record and with 8 wins in their last 10 games, they have the best record in the Eastern Conference. The Avalanche have a 13-9-1 record but are hoping to bounce back from two rough losses. Both teams are looking to remain near the top of their divisions and the upcoming game looks to be a great one as a result. The Boston Bruins are averaging 4 goals per game and are scoring on 29 0.3% of their power play opportunities. David Pasternak leads Boston with 17 goals, Hampus Lindholm has 15 assists, and Jake DeBrusque has 76 shots on goal. Defensively, the Boston Bruins are allowing 2.2 goals per game and are killing 84.6% of their opponent's power plays. Linus Omark has given up 31 goals on 486 shots faced and Jeremy Swagman has allowed 19 goals on 188 shots. The Colorado Avalanche are averaging 3.3 goals per game and are scoring on 32.5% of their power play opportunities. Nickel Rantanen leads Colorado with 15 goals, Nathan McKinnon has 26 assists, and Cal Maker has 64 shots on goal. Defensively, the Colorado Avalanche are allowing 2.8 goals per game and are killing 76.5% of their opponent's power plays. Alexander Georgiev has allowed 43 goals on 535 shots faced, and Pavel Frankus has given up 21 goals on 226 shots. The Bruins are 5-2 in their last 7 road games and 47-18 in their last 65 overall. The Avalanche are 64-18 in their last 82 home games and 81 to 34 in their last 115 overall the over is 11 to 4 in Bruins last 15 road games the under is 7 to 3 to 1 in Avalanche last 11 overall the Bruins are 0 to 4 in the last four meetings in Colorado and 3 to 7 in the last 10 meetings the home team is 7 to 1 in the last eight meetings the favorite is 5 to 2 in the last seven meetings Four weeks without superstar Nathan McKinnon begin on Wednesday night for the Colorado Avalanche as they welcome the NHL's second-best team in the Boston Bruins. Following five shifts in a game against the Philadelphia Flyers, McKinnon took a puck to an area in his upper body and proceeded to leave the game for its entirety. He will now be missing roughly a month, which is a huge blow for the defending Stanley Cup champions. Their backs could be against the wall here even more, as the Bruins have been dominating all year and will look to continue to do so. Boston has sported an impressive 20-3-1 record to begin the season and I see it improving that record when this one is said and done. Colorado has been decimated with injuries other than just Mackinnon, as they are without their captain Gabriel Landeskog, offensive contributors Evan Rodriguez and Valerie Nishishkin, as well as defensive pieces Josh Manson and Bowen Byram. The Bruins and their insignificant injury list completely overpower this team, which is why they are rated as the heavy favorites. The depth the Bruins have up and down the lineup completely outmatches that of the avalanche, and they should have no issue dominating time of possession and turning that into a somewhat easy win. The spectacular goaltending of Boston's Linus Omark should continue. He only has to worry about a few guys on the avalanche. So the Boston Bruins' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have a very good offense. The Bruins rank first in goals per game and fourth in shots per game. David Pasternak leads the Bruins with 35 points. Pasternak is fifth in the league in points. Patrice Bergeron and Brad Marchand each have 21 points. Marchand has eight goals and 13 assists in just 16 games played. He has recorded one or more points in nine out of the last 10 games. The Avs rank 13th in goals per game and eighth in shots per game. Nathan McKinnon leads the Avs with 34 points. McKinnon is tied for sixth in points and tied for first in assists in the league. Mikkel Rantanen has 32 points and he leads Colorado with 15 goals. Rantanen is tied for sixth in the league in goals. The over is 5-3 to three in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. This will be a higher scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Arizona Coyotes vs. Edmonton Oilers. The Arizona Coyotes face the Edmonton Oilers with both teams hoping to improve from rocky starts to the season. The Coyotes have a 7-12-4 record and with only one win in their last 10 games have fallen to the bottom of the Central Division while the Oilers have a 14-12 record and are in the middle of the Pacific Division. Both teams are looking to improve within the Western Conference and the upcoming game looks to be a good one as a result. The Arizona Coyotes will try to snap a five-game losing skid after their 3-2 loss to Calgary last time out. Clayton Keller leads the Coyotes with 22 points including 7 goals and a team-high 15 assists, while Shane Gostisbehere has 17 points with 5 goals and 12 assists. J.J. Moser has 13 points with 10 assists while Macias Maxelli has 17 points with 15 assists, and Lawson Kraus has a team-high 10 goals on the year. Carol Bejmoka has gone 6-7-3 to to with a 3.03 goals against average and a .912 save percentage, while Connor Ingram has gone 1-5-1 to to with a 4.0 2 goals against average and a .882 save percentage between the pipes for Arizona this season. The Edmonton Oilers will look to rebound from a 3-2 loss to Washington in their last game. Connor McDavid leads the Oilers with 48 points including a team-high 22 goals and 26 assists while Leon Dreisaitl has 42 points with 25 assists. Zach Hyman has 26 points with 9 goals and 17 assists, while Ryan Nugent Hopkins has 27 points with 11 goals and 16 assists. Jack Campbell's posted a record of 7-6 with a 4.12 goals against average and an .872 save percentage, while Stuart Skinner's gone 7-6 with a 2.93 goals against average and a .916 save percentage in goal for Edmonton this season. Arizona is 6-23 in their last 29 games against the Pacific Division and 37 to 85 in their last 122 games overall while the under is 9 to 4 in their last 13 road games. Edmonton is 25 to 12 in their last 37 home games and 7 to 3 in their last 10 Wednesday games while the over is 6 to 2 to 1 in their last 9 home games. The Coyotes are looking to end their road trip on a high note and pull off the upset in the upcoming game. The problem is that the Oilers look to bounce back from a rough loss and dominate this game on both ends of the ice. The Oilers, who averaged 3.42 goals per game, should constantly find the back of the net with Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with quick passes near the net. The Oilers should also limit a Coyotes offense that averages only 2.65 goals per game with Darnell Nurse, Cody Sessai, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shooting lanes, allowing goaltender Jack Campbell to make plenty of big saves. The Oilers should have a dominant performance on their home ice. I get the case to be made for an underdog in some spots, but the Edmonton Oilers are clearly the better team by a wide margin in this game. The Arizona Coyotes have gone back to doing Arizona Coyotes things where they lose games left and right and lose them convincingly no less. All in all, this feels like a relatively easy win for Edmonton. So the Edmonton Oilers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This is a high total but with both defenses struggling, expect both offenses to step up and find the back of the net throughout the game. The Coyotes should create plenty of scoring chances against an Oilers defense that allows 3.58 goals per game with Clayton Keller, Lawson Kraus, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great puck movement. The Oilers, who have scored 22 goals in the last six games, should run up the score against a Coyotes defense that has allowed 3.43 goals per game with Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Zach Hyman, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with great puck movement while defensemen Darnell Nurse and Cody Sessai generate shots on the net from the blue line. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.